all interested in helping ourselves and improving ourselves and so forth. Uh, but I think we're a little clueless on how to do it. Thinking about ourselves more isn't self-help. Almost all of the books on so-called so self-help are based on obsessing about you. The way to true self-help is to learn to be a little more selfless and not so self-centered. And they're not teaching that in the 300,000 you know, titles of, on self-help on Amazon.com. The ineffective kinds of ways that we pursue self-improvement are based on an illusion of a self, not a, not a real, real thing. You are not who you think you are. The self that we think we're improving is, is a phantom, actually. So instead of saying, I have a self, it'd be much more accurate to say, I have a self-conception. And of course we do. And that self is, is functional, it works, it, you know, it, it's, it's real in a sense. But only at the level of conceptuality. Our real self, not just the concept of self, but our true self is not a somebody self. It's a nobody self. It's what's left after we strip away the illusions of self. When we drop the self-consciousness, we have some taste of our true self. And this is when we're happiest. The mindful unself-consciousness of being totally integrated with life. If the only self that exists is a conception of the self, then that self can certainly be changed. We have to remember, have to pay attention and remember to try to live the life that, we're, that we know we should be living. And that's how to improve yourself, and that's the only way to improve yourself. Only real way of self-improvement, because of the nature of the self. You see? Self's just a conception of the self. So gift yourself with a better self-conception. And uh, that's all. No worries. That sounds easy, right? Now let's try and do it. Not so easy. But uh, if we are interested in self-improvement, this is the way to do it.